Kufmem Aleph. Kufmem Aleph. One forty-one. Masech the Shabbos. Mishnah. Mishnah. Hakash. Tomorrow night we'll learn at nine fifteen. Okay. Hakash al Gabi Amita. Straw that straw is muktzah because it's normally used for fire, so it's not designated for as a kli. So lo yinan nena biyado, you cannot move it with your hand. Ela menano begufo, if you lie down on the straw, you can use your body. So it's called tiltul menatzai. It's uh, Rashi says uh, it's not direct, huh? Yeah, sorry. Just, I mean, Shabbos comes out already earlier. It comes out at 8.41. So, I mean, if you want to learn 9.15, it's fine, but we can start changing the time back soon. Okay, we can learn at 9 o'clock then. Is everybody okay with 9 o'clock? All right. Okay. Okay. Am I a Michael Behema? Now, if the straw had been designated from Arab Shabbos, as animal food, then it's not muktza. Oh, I love karo sadim, or you you prepared like a, a the like a pillow case above the straw, so you had designated the straw to be used for something purposeful on Shabbos. Menada be other than you can you can move it directly with your hand. Mechabesh al balibatim. Mechabesh is like an iron that they would use uh, like boards, heavy boards. And they would flatten it on your garment to, to, you know, to iron it. So you couldn't place the board directly on the on the on the garment on Shabbos, but matir, and you could lift it. Avaloi koivshin, you couldn't press it. Vishal koivshin, a professional one uh, that was used by a launderer, loyika, was completely mukza because that's. Uh, that, that's done very tightly. And Rashi says it's like sasira. It's like it's like the opposite of building. Rabbi Yudah Oimer Maya Mutter Meir of Shabbos. If it was already uh, un, you know, loosened from Meir of Shabbos, Mater is cool of Shabbos. You can undo it. I'm Rav Nachman. Hi, Pugla. Pugla is a radish. So if, if it was harvested from the, from the ground already, but now you want to store it in the dirt, and you covered it with dirt. You know, model lamata. As long as the radish has been put in the normal direction, so when you pull it out, it's not going to move excessive dirt. Shori, but no mata, no mata If you buried it upside down, then it's osir because you're going to be moving too much dirt, and you make a guma. And it's and it's and also that uh, and and the offer is also muktza from shops. We have a baraisa not like Rav Nachman because Rav Nachman seems to suggest that tiltul menatzad is not called tiltul. That even though no, even though tiltul menatzad it is tiltul, but they're going to bring a riot from our Mishnah. That it's not because Akash al Gabi Amita Loi Dan Ebi Yod Olam Anan Ebi Gufo, right? You can move the straw in Atzad with your body, and then it's not considered Mukta. So this is a Kash and Rav Nachman. And the Mishnah said, "Am I Michael Beheim or Shai Love Karos Tzadim Anan Ebi Yod Shmami No Tiltu Man Atzad Lo Shmei Tiltu." Not like Rav Nachman. Shmami No that Rav Nachman is not is is knocked out of the box. And that's how we pass it. Amri Rani Pil Pil and Medik, Chada Chada Bikata the Saki, no Shari. Peppers. And you're going to want to like cut them into really small pieces. So you can use it if you cut with the back of the knife, like the handle, and only one by one. Tarti, because it's too much like grinding. Rav Amar, keep it the Mishani, I feel it to the Nami. You know, once you use a Shinoi and you're using the back of the handle, you can even do more than more than that. Amar, Rav Yudah, man, the Sachi, the Maya. Somebody who was uh, in a river or went into the Mikvah and stopped. 
is wet. Lin gives Nafshe Beresha. He should dry himself off before he starts walking around. Bahadur Lisli. Because Dilma Asi Lasui Arbaab is the Carmelist. The banks of a river or an ocean is considered a Carmelist. You're not allowed to carry there more than Arba Abbas. If you have a lot of wetness on your body, you're going to be considered carrying it. So you have to dry yourself off. The Gemara asks, then therefore, if you go, when you go into the water, you're pushing the water, Daladamis, and it's also a Carmelist. Why aren't we concerned? Kocho, but Carmelis loy gozer, because it's not a direct action. It's, it's an action based on his indirect pushing, on, on, on an indirect action in a Carmelis, the Chachamim were not gozer. Om Rabbi Vitem Rav Yudha Titschel Gabi Raglo. If a person has some dirt on his leg, you can clean it with the ground, but not on a wall. Because you're adding the dirt to the wall, and it looks like bone. What kind of bone is it? Who lives in a mud, in a, in a mud house? No, you're allowed to clean it off by scraping it on the wall of a house. But the aim of karka, but you shouldn't scrape it off on the ground. Because maybe you're going to make a, a ditch and then you're going to be boned there. He says both are osir. The halacha is that you do it on a wall, not the karka, because you're going to make gumo, like Rava said. The riff holds that we do it only on a beam. And the rush says you're matir no matter what. The achronim of not paskin halacha brura. Most are maskim that you can scrape it on a wall, like the base Yosef. Hell. Because Marbury Ravina Marbury Ravina said if you can clean it on a wooden beam. A person shouldn't sit at the opening of a mavu that has a lechi. Remember, we said that a three walled alley that opens up in Sarabi. If you put a beam on top of the opening or a, or a piece of wood on the side, a lechi. So you're allowed to carry in the mavu. However, you're not allowed to sit right there. Why? Dilma Maybe he's playing with a ball. The ball's going to roll into the Rosh He's going to go and get it. So you're not allowed to sit right there at the open. Amarava. Kuva. A person shouldn't straighten out the barrels of wine that he has, let's say in a wine cellar, because the, the floors were dirt, you're going to make it uh, like a, a ditch. You're going to make a, a, a and that's net. So it's a gzeri, you're not allowed to move the barrels. Amarava, shisha. You cannot stuff a Shmata, like a, a wet shmata, in the mouth of a jug, because you'll come to, you'll come to squeeze it out. Dama asi l'schi. Om Rav Kana Tichol Gabi Big Do. First, has a stain on his shirt. Mekaskasom mivifnim ve'mekapsom mibachod. You 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 can only sort of try to get the stain out from the inside, not from the outside. By getting out from the outside, it's too much like laundering. Like whitening, Rashi says, melabe, making it more white. Meisve weskakasha, tichal gavim minalo. If you have dirt on your shirt, on your shoe, megaro begav sakim. You can scrape it out with the back of a knife. 
Michel Bigo, if you have a piece of dirt on your shirt, Megaro Batsipur, and you can scrape it off with your fingernail. Uvavachli Kaskes, as long as you don't like, you know, rub it. Now, my Lavshli Kaskes Klau, that seems to imply you can't rub it even from the inside. Or says, Lo, Shloi Kaskes Mavachut, can't rub it on the outside. Elam Ibifibim, you can rub it from the inside. Amravam, Amravi Avbo, Amrav Lazar of Yanai. You cannot scrape an old shoe, only a new shoe, because it's like it's like smoothing it out by an old shoe. And how do you how do you scrape it off a memagaro? Amravavo, begav sakin in a shinui way with the back of a knife. Armele Someone. Could be a Elio Anavi said to one of the Amayron, Samedi Dokhmi Kami Haditani Rabkhiya. Remove that halacha in face of the fine brisa that ain't Megarurin, lo minal chodesh, lo minal yosh. You're not allowed to scrape an old shoe or a new shoe. There'll be problems with uh, either. Lo yosh chesrag lo shemen. You shouldn't put oil on your foot. As long as you're wearing a shoe, over because you're going to come up, to, you're going to end up oiling the shoe, and that's a problem because of tanning. Now, if you don't have the shoe on your foot, you can put oil on your leg. Then you can put your foot in the shoe, over and then it runs down. Secondarily. You can rub your whole body with oil. And it's not a problem about, about tanning. You want to clean it or make it look a little brighter. But if, you're, if your intent is you cannot have an intent for tanning. So pray to Gamor La Abdu Pshi. Of course you can. It's a malocha. And the Sulat Sakhzucho to 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 clean it or to brighten the Ikaman Deshari, who permits that? That's also not permitted on Shabbos. Eliat Marachi it for Amra Pizdo, Loishan or Lashir Litzak. We're talking about the amount. So you're allowed to uh, the amount of oil to put on that you would use to clean it, that you're allowed to put on your leg. But to put on the amount of oil that we need for tanning, that would be prohibited. A child cannot go out on Shabbos wearing an adult shoe because it's going to fall off. He's going to end up carrying. He can wear a big shirt because the shirt's not going to fall off. A woman can also go on with sort of go out with a used shoe, it's partially broken because it's going to fall off, and she'll carry it. And the lotachlotzpo, you can't use such a shoe for chlitza. If it's only a partially torn shoe, it's still a shoe. And in Yotzimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
you could touch the shoe. However, Tanya dech ein short. The other bride says you're not allowed to. Like Kasha, Rabbi Yezra Rabbon. The machlok is Rabbi Yezra Rabbon. It's not. Mina shal gabi emus. The shoe that's on this holder, Rabbi Yezra Metar. Rabbi Yezra says it's not a kli yet. It's not finished. It's not mekabel tuma. Since it's not a kli, it's muktza. The chachamim metamim. So it's a kli. You're allowed to touch it. Hanich le Rabbi Dami Dami shalach to leiser. So remember, regarding Mukta, we had a machloek of Sabayin Ravla. Since this Amos is normally something that's used in a malacha, which is also to do on Shabbos. So there's a get there when you can move it. Ravla holds Bein Litzrach Gufo, Bein Litzrach Bukom, whether you need the item itself or its place, it's mutter. So then it's a correct shop here. It would work that that's why it's not Mukta. El Abayah. The armor let's rock goof from what's in the but come here. You want the shoe, so you want its place. And who says it's also Michael and Neymar? It still should be Moksa. It's it's barely hanging on to that thing, it's very loose. And therefore, you can remove the shoe without touching the the holder. The tiny of you know, I'm a higher rough we mutter time of the rough. That's only because it's loose. Allah rough we low. Again, that works for Abaya. That's why it's Muksa. He would allow whether it's loose or not loose, because he allows you to move it no matter what. So it's a Kashan Rabba. So the says, I heed Rabbi Yudami Shum Rabbi Yezer. That's going according to Rabbi Yezer. The time Rabbi Yudami Shum Rabbi Yezer, my Rafi Mutter. But otherwise, it would not be mutter. Rava is going like the other Baraisa that would that would allow you no matter what. Adalach toili, toilin, adalach toilin, adalach toilin. Susie, Sue, Aliza, you bring me a tissue, please. New Mishnah, Perak Echad Vasrim, 21, Perak Hanoito. Noitel Adam is Benoi. Thank you very much. Hey, Lele. Noitel Adam is Benoi. Zai Evan Biyadam. The person could pick up his child. We're talking about, let's say they're in a courtyard. He's permitted to pick up the child. But the child is holding a stone. Now, a stone is muktza. You normally wouldn't carry the stone in a chutzpah. But this wish is saying is you can pick up the child even though the child is holding the stone. And let's say there's a basket, there's a stone in there. So the basket's not muktza. You could pick it up even though there's a stone in there. I... Isn't the basket a bosis ledover hamuktsa, and therefore maybe the basket should be should be muktsa as well? More will last. Then it says metatul in truma tmeya imatohoi rabbi machulim. Now truma tmeya, you nobody can use, so it's muktsa. However, if it's in a box or a, a basket with truma tohoi which a koyin can use. On Shabbos, he can eat it, and or with chulin. So you can see, it looks like you can care, even though these things might be resting on the trumat man. It's again, it's a bosses. It becomes a base for a dover osir. Again, the Gemara will have to explain. Rav Yudai Meraf Malin is a That truma one part that fell into a hundred chulin. The chulin, it's you, we we you can say that you can carry it because there's bittel. I and you can do it on Shabbos. I, I you're misaking, you're fixing it. So the Mishnah says it's okay. The Gemara will have to analyze that too. Amar you took from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah a live infant. 
and the, the infant has a like a purse or some kind of bag tied around its oh. neck. Tali b'tzavar chayiv mishum kis. You're chayiv for carrying the bast for carrying the pouch. Well, why didn't we say in our mission? It seems to be that if the child is carrying the evan, you're allowed to pick up the child, and it was as if the child was carrying it. Why here are you chayiv for the kiss? Now we'll see. You're not chayiv for the child because the child carries himself. He lightens himself, even if he can't walk. Called chay nosus atzmo. But Rav says you're chay for the kiss. Tinok mates. Let's say the child was not alive. The kiss totally bit savoro, and he's where and the 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 pouch is around the neck of the child potur. Completely. Now we don't understand that Allah at all. Lachora <laughs> there. You should be chai for the child as well, because it's not a chai. It's only chai is noy satsma. So Rashi will say the Gemara will tell explain that part. So tinik chai v'kis tov b'tzavaro chai mishum kis. Frank the Gemara v'la chai v'nami mishum tinik. Why aren't you chai for carrying the child? Rabbi Rav Nosson Sfirale the Omar chai noy satsma that a live child carries itself. He makes himself lighter. Frank the Gemara will be bottle kiss legabi tino. The question is then, why are you chay for the kiss? Why shouldn't the kiss be bottle to the tinik like it was in our Mishnah? Milo tnan as a chay b'mita, or another case. Let's say a live person is lying on a bed, and you carry the live person on the bed. Potter, afa la mita. Shamita tfeilolo. The mita is sort of bottled to the chai, and the chai you're allowed to carry because chai knows his atzma. So why don't we say that the purse is also tfeilolo to the, to the infant? And for the Gemara, mita lagabi chai, mevatli lo. The whole purpose of a, of a person lying on a bed to be carried. So the bed is mevatli to the person. Kiss the gabi tinik lo What does that have to do with the other? So the, the, the pouch is not bottled to the child. Then the Mishra said tinik meis be kiss tov tzavar potter. Well, why should he be potter? The chayv mishum tinik. The child's not alive. He should be chayv because of the, the, the child who's not alive. There's no chay knows his atzmo. And for the Gemara, Rabbi Kriv Shimon Sfirale, the Omar, kom loch chashen tzrich lagufa potter ale. We have this concept of you have to have a malacha that carries out a, a functional thing. So, for example, in the midbar, when you carry it from inside to outside, you wanted to bring the item inside to the outside. The point was to move, was you wanted the thing on the outside. Here, you're moving the child from the inside to the outside. You want to get rid of the child from the inside. So, it, it's not a malacha shetzrich legufa, and any malacha shetzrich legufa is part of it. That's Gemara's answers to why you're not chayiv for carrying the dead child. So Tanan, so our Mishnah, we said you can carry the child and a stone. Why? We're only talking about a, a child who will get sick if you don't carry it. So the concept of carrying him in the face of Sakona, it's not a Sakona's nefesh gemura, says Rashi. It's a Sakona choyli. The child's going to be upset. They allowed you to carry him. Ihochi, my area, Evan. I feel the dinner now. What it shouldn't just be a stone. It should be a coin as well. This we'll deal with tomorrow. New Soviet.